All right, so this is why Trump is winning, and probably pretty big, despite the polls. And, uh, oh, you're cherry-picking, Josh. No, this makes sense. I don't Look, I don't think Trump's going to win, because I don't trust the people who count the votes, if that makes sense. All right, so remember, it's not the votes that matter, it's the people who count the votes that matter. And here in Fulton County, well, let's just put it this way. Has the oral Secretary of State done anything to uh, assure... The vote will be proper and clean, and the answer, of course, is yet. But be that as it may, you know, I live in America. It's the only place I want to live, so I'll run with it. However, the reason why Trump is winning, even though the polls don't show that necessarily, they show it very tight, is because they're, they're, uh, if you actually look at the people that are surveying, the people that are surveying are based on what? Is it based on 50% Republicans, 50% Democrats? No. Is it based on... You know, 35% Republican, 35% Democrat, not necessarily. A lot of these polls are based on the exit polls from 2020, all right? So 2020, Snippy Joe won. <laughs> Let me sell you some oceanfront property in West Virginia. Um, but anyway, 2020, Snippy Joe won, all right? And so they said, okay, how did Snippy Joe win? And they said, we took exit polls. So this is what the turnout was. This number of women, this number of men, this number of Republicans, this number of Democrats, this number of Independents, all right? This many uh, blacks, this many whites, this many 57 flavors, blah, 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 all right? And they said, so we're going to use that as our reference for polling this year, assuming the same turnout happens in 20, that happened in 2020 will happen in 24. And uh, that makes sense. I mean, because if they didn't do it like that, then the pollsters could you know, pretty much do whatever they want. You know, I haven't seen anyone ever with a trump sign up thus my poll will be 90 percent surveyed of democrats and 10 percent republicans that's the old pauline kale story i've told you about from the new york times in 1972. i can't believe nixon won she worked for, yeah she worked for the new york times i don't know anyone who voted for nixon well no i did nixon win and he did a curb stomp on mcgovern a figurative curb stomp youtube figurative all right Anyway, so what happens is, is Pauline Kale doesn't know any Republicans, and she's stunned when Republicans won. She's like, what the hell? That can't be. And so a pollster, of course, they live in D.C. or the New York or Boston or L.A. or San Francisco. You know, then they live among us ne'er-do-wells in the hinterlands. They say, well, I'm just going to pull a poll of the people I know, because that's who drives Twitter. That's the people who read the New York Times. Yeah, I know like 5% Republicans, that's it. So we're going to poll 95% Democrats. You know, you don't want the pollsters to do that. And they're not even that stupid to do that. So what they do is just, okay, we're going to poll based on what the exit polls were in 2020. The turnout. Now, they're not going to do 20. They shouldn't do 2022 because that's an off-year election. All right, so the presidential elections always get a bigger turnout than off-year elections. It's just a fact. So if you're going to run a poll, you're going to say, what was the last dem demographic numbers and exit polls for 2020 and it was it's that and the other All right so even then snippy joe won just barely <laughs> oceanfront property in west virginia but he did you know accordingly so they're gonna use that same model but here's the challenge is kamala has the same level of excitement for her as trump does for him the answer is unequivocally no it doesn't now how do you pull that you can't so you got to use uh, historical numbers i get it but you know for a fact kamala doesn't get anyone fired up except you know freaking 55 year old cat ladies white cat ladies in particular 55 year old white cat ladies love them some kamala because it makes them feel like i'm voting for the first woman and i'm voting for the first person of color who's a woman it makes you know they get a double whammy there you know 55 year old cat ladies you know they love nothing more to show you how uh, virtuous they are all right but on that, you know, black men aren't excited by Paul, uh, Kamala. I mean, they're just like, whatever, dude. You know, I mean, are white guys, other than the same kind of flavored white guys, they're like, yeah, I'm a white, like Ben Stiller. Okay. <laughs> but you see it in the Teamsters. I'll give you an example. Biden was beating Trump 55-45 in the Teamsters internal poll. When Biden got out and they switched it to heels up, Trump's smoking her 60-40 in the Teamster poll. All right, and that's just fact. That's just a fact. A lot of people don't like Kamala. They just don't. And so she's not going to get the same level of support that Sniffy Joe did. And then you factor in, too, how scared the Democrats were in 2020. They were so scared that Trump was Hitler. They're like, man, he's Hitler. 
he's gonna win. Now, some of them still think that, I, I grant you, but they were scared. They said, this is our only chance to stop this. You know, there's still gonna be some, many of them still think that way. But the level of absurdity of that claim is definitely softened now. It just is. It just, especially after what we've seen with Sniffy Joe, that some people are saying, yeah, both these guys are bad. And they might be more inclined to sit out, less inclined to vote for the Democrat. I mean, all these things. On top of that, the people out of party, all right? This is why the off-year elections always go in favor of the, uh, out of po- of the party out of power. is because they're more motivated to vote. They want change. The people in power who are dealing with being in charge, they don't have nearly the same level of motivation to vote. Yeah, they want to stay in power, but the people out of par- party out of power are freaking highly motivated we call it they'll crawl over broken glass to get the vote to register their frustration with the current state of things you're not going to get that for the, the people in power you just don't you don't get the same level of turnout when you're the party in power that you do with the people out of power so we got trump is out of power we got sniffy joe stepping aside or being forced aside we get Kamal, who doesn't fire anybody up except for 55-year-old cat ladies, and uh, and so, and then we're gonna, then we're not coming out of COVID, which the Democrats were literally in a panic, like, oh my goodness, this could be the last breath I take if I don't go out to vote, because you know these things are gonna come and get me. Oh my, you know, you still see them wearing their masks. It's crazy, crazy. It's not even Halloween. They still got masks on. All right, so we know that. So we know the. The demographic uh, polling of, of the who you survey in 2024 will not be like 2020. Another reason that Trump surprised everybody in 2016 was simply due to the fact, again, they, they gave 2012 uh, surveys in the polls uh, based on 2012 election results. You know, and, and Obama took it to Romney. And that was, so they used that as their model for 2016. Well, then Trump came along. He motivated a whole new group of voters who weren't part of the Romney voting uh, team, if that makes sense. And no pollster knew who these people were. They just counted them out. Carl Rove and those idiots like that said, oh, they'll never come back. Well, they came back for Trump. 2020 is a whole different story. whole different story. A lot of the Republicans uh, lost their motivation because they're in power. Some Republicans, like me, were not motivated at all because of what happened in 2020. And it just seemed like Trump, in my opinion, uh, I think he, he struck out in 2020. I really do. I still voted, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't nearly as motivated as I was in 2016. And a lot of Republicans felt that Trump, that COVID was still high on their radar. Because there are some idiot Republicans, too, don't get me wrong. Many of them. And they might have even voted for Joe Biden. They said they should have done more. I've said this a million times. I can't believe how many people on my own YouTube channel who claim they're right-wing conservatives want small government were just advocating for me to say, look, shutdowns are good, Josh. The jabs are good. If this is what it takes to get the economy back straight, that's what it takes. We're going to drag Trump over the... Well, here's a Kamala voter right here. I knew these guys were Kamala voters, actually. They're actually nice. I knew what they were because uh, they had a uh, some kind of sticker. I forgot what it was before. And frankly, I don't care. Vote for the hell of whatever you want. I don't care. I don't get it. Veterans for Kamala. He's a Navy veteran, I'm sure. If I saw him, I'd say, hey, are you a Navy? I guarantee he's a Navy guy. <laughs> anyway, this is vote bets. Uh, that cracks me up. They don't have horses, though. I just walked by a place that had horses. One of the horses was, like, stamping. I call him Stampy. I was like, uh, does that mean he's trying to get me? Because I am so cute. Anyway, so that's why Trump's winning in the polls winning despite what the uh, the media would tell me to believe uh, it's just because uh, the exit polling numbers from 2020 are being used to survey people today and those numbers won't be reached uh other than you know a, a basic bare minimum but generally speaking we're not having and but don't don't forget i just saw something in pennsylvania there's like i can't remember what it was but the the voter enthusiasm is way down in pennsylvania relative to it was in 2020 um all that stuff so in a normal election, that would tell you, for the Democrats, that is, for a normal election, that would tell you that, you know, Kamala's got her heels up like she did to advance the power with Willie Brown. Who knows who else? But that doesn't mean anything because we don't control the vote counting. You see? All right. Love your thoughts. God bless.